friends today we are going to learn the third english poem the inchcape rock published in 1802 written by robert saudi a famous english poet born in bristol england in 1774 died in 1843 he was a poet laureate from 1813 till his death that is 1843 what is poet laureate poet laureate is a position on which a famous poet is appointed by royal family or government so he was appointed poet at that time this poem is based on true incident happened in 14th century it is ballad what is ballad ballad is a poetic form in which four line stanza called quatrain are used to describe life or life events of famous person so what famous person is described here in this poem it is abbot of aberbrothock and pilot called sir ralph rover so it is story of these two people let me tell you the line story line of this poem abbot of aberbrothock is a kind hearted man who decided to save the lives of people from dangerous accidents took place near the inchcape rock the inchcape rock is a reef 18 km from the shore of scotland angus inside the sea so these sailors couldn't understand whether there is a rock reef or not and they met with dangerous accidents to save their lives he installed a bell there on inchcape rock so this bell started ringing at the time of storm and the sailors can easily understand that there is a dangerous spot it is better to keep ourselves from distance of this particular place and in this way they started they saved saved their life but and wherever they keep themselves safe at that spot they started blazing about of aberbrothok so these particular things made nervous to a pirate called sir ralph rover one day ralph rover cut down that bell and he went somewhere in his return journey he met with dangerous accidents because he himself couldn't understand whether there is inchcape of inchcape rock or not because he had already removed that bell and he died in that accident so as you so as you read this is the message given through this particular poem by robert saudi let's start and what things he has given here in this in these stanzas let's see look at first stanza no stir in the air no stir in the sea no stir stir means movement no extra movement was there in air and no that type of extra movement in sea the ship was as still as she could be whatever sailor expects the ship should be the same kind of ship was there it flowed properly her sails from heaven received no motion no one pushed it extra force was not received from air it flowed naturally her keel was steady in the ocean keel keel means parts each and every parts of that particular ship was properly maintained and that is why strongly it flowed on that particular water look at the second stanza without either sign or sound of their shock the waves flowed over the inchcape rock what kind of situation was there near that dangerous spot called inchcape rock it is given in second stanza without either sign or sound of their shock 
so most of the time you couldn't understand whether there is a dangerous spot called Inchcape Rock because no such sign or sound is observed there. Waves flowed properly without any type of sign. The waves flowed over Inchcape Rock. It flowed directly over Inchcape Rock. So little they rose, so little they fell. So waves naturally flowed on that on the surface of that Inchcape Rock. You can't guess whether there is a dangerous spot. So such kind of situation was there. They didn't move the Inchcape Bell. In silent atmosphere, that Inchcape Bell didn't ring. And that is why these sellers couldn't understand the proper situation of Inchcape Rock. So such kind of situation was there. If you are asked to identify figures of speech, no stir, no stir. So same words are repeated in this particular stanza. If same words are repeated, it is called repetition. So it is a repetition. The ship was as still as she could be. Ship as and yes, beginning sound, same beginning sound is there, that is why it is alliteration. So, it is direct comparison also, as as is used. So, that is why it is also example of simile. Look at the second stanza. Sign, sound, shock. S sound, s beginning sound is repeatedly used here, that is why it is example of alliteration. So little they rose, so little they fell. So little, so little, the same words are repeated. If same words are repeated in that line, it is called repetition. Rose, rose means raise, come up, upwards. Fell, fell means downward. So two opposite words are there. That is why it is example of antithesis. Now, let me explain in it Marathi. Inchcape Rock हे एक ballad है. Ballad मंजे पोवाडा जला आपन मराठीत मंतो है. हा एक पोवाडा है. पोवाडा मदे एकादा महान विवक्ति महत्वाच जिवान शैली क्युआ एकादा event त्याचा मदे चितार लेला अस्तो. इथ Abbot of Aberbrotak हे एक महान मठा दिपती है. आनि एक pirate समुद्रातला लुटेरा जो यहाँ अबाउट चा मठा दिपती नी अबाउट ब्रथाक नी एक बेल इंच के प्रॉक वर लावली लिए का ती लावली लिए तर एनारा खलाशान ना वाचाओ ना साथी कारण तो एक भयांग स्पॉट है कि जिथा तुमाला कलाईच नहीं कि भयानक स्पॉट तिथा आहे खलाशान � तर समुद्र समुद्राचा कड़े पसुन समुद्राचा कड़े पसुन अठरा किलोमीटर मधे एंगस स्कॉटलैंड हाँ जो समुद्र किनारे आये तेचा पसुन अठरा किलोमीटर मधे पूर्वे कड़े हाँ स्पॉट आये खरोखरत आये आनी तेचा और यहाँ एबर बर्था किंतु बेल लावली हुई थी बेल कौन कप्तान तर हाँ पायरेट सर राल्फ रोवर आनी तो सुधा � दुर्गत मेला सामोरे जातो आनी मृत्यु मुखी पड़तो मैं यहाँ कविते सा उद्देश्य का है काय मैसेज ही कविता देते हैं जैसा तुम्हीं पेराल तसे उगवाल हाँ का ऐसा मैसेज या कविते तुन रॉबर्ट साउदी देता है रॉबर्ट साउदी हे एक फेमस इंग्लिश पोइट है जानसा जन्म ब्रिस्टन इंग्लैंड में दिखाए लाए भगवान no star in the air, no star in the sea. हवे मदे काई हलचाल नोती, विशेश हलचाल नोती, समुद्रा मदे सुधा काई मोठी हलचाल नोती, वातावरन एकदम शांत होता. The ship was as still as she could be. जहाँ जसा हसायला पाईजे, जसा चालायला पाईजे, पानेवर त्या पदने ते चालायच. Her sails from heaven received no motion. कि हवे तुन extra motion, extra force मिलाएचा नहीं मझे व्यवस्तित ते चालाएचा 
हर किल वॉन्स स्टडी इन द ओशन कि प्रत्येक पार्ट्स प्रत्येक पार्ट्स जैसे जहाज उभ रहे छोटे छोटे पार्ट्स आती मोटे पार्ट्स आते ते व्यवस्थित राबले स्टडी ते व्यवस्थित अच्छे दुसरे कड़ो बिदाउट आय दर साइन और साउंड ऑफ देअर शॉप आता तो इंच के पुरा तो स्पाट कि भयानक होता तो इतना संगने का प्रयत्न के लिए विदाउट आय दर साइन और साउंड ऑफ देअर शॉप लाटा तैर सरल वाहत जाए आदलन परत नहीं आवाज ये नहीं को सूचना मिला कि भयानक स्पॉट इधे है द वेव्स फ्लोर ओवर द इंच के पुराव कि लाटा सरल इंच के पुराव पर भरती आल तो, तो दिसेन आया सरल निगुन जाए सो लिटिल दे रोज सो लिटिल दे फेल कि उच उठाइचा पन नहीं आनी खाली आदला सुधा नहीं नेहमी प्रमाण लाट तैर ओसर जाए निगुन जाए समुद्र किनापर्यंत दे डीड नॉट मूव द इंच के बेल अशा शांत वातावरण मधे इंच के बेल सुधा वजा ची नहीं इंच के बेल लगर सुधा तो रॉक भयानक होता तो हा स गोषी इत स प्रयत्न के लिए आता अपने जर अलंकार शोधा लवली हा कवि मधे तो बगा नो स्टर नो स्टर सारखे शब्द वे हा ओली कसल उदाहरण होना है तो रिपीटेशन च उदाहरण है रिपीटेशन मध्य सारखे सारखे शब्द रिपीट होता द शिप शिप एस एस साउंड ज्यास शब्दा अद्याक्षर रिपीट होते एलिट्रेशन च उदाहरण है मोहन ही एलिट्रेशन है एज एज जेव दोन गोष्टी की डायरेक्ट तुलना होती एज एज सो लाइक हे शब्द वाले ते सीमिली नावाच फिगर्स ऑफ स्पीच आता है अलंकार आता है तो इत सीमिली सुधा उदाहरण हो दुसर कड़वा मधे साइन साउंड एंड शॉप स साउंड रिपीट है सुधा एलिट्रेशन च उदाहरण है दुसर कड़वा मे तीसरी लाइन बगा सो लिटिल सो लिटिल सारखे शब्द रिपीट जाए मून रिपीटेशन रोज फेल रोज मे वर ये फेल मे खाली पड़ने सर सर विरुद्धार्था शब्द तिथे वाले ज्यास विरुद्धार्था शब्द कविते मध्य एंटीथेसिस उदाहरण दबर्ट ऑफ एबर प्रथर हेड प्लेस दैट बेल ऑन द इंच के प्रॉक इन दिस स्टांजा रॉबर्ट साउदी इन्फॉर्म अस दैट The abbot of Aberbrotha had installed that inchcape bell on inchcape rock. On a boy in the storm, it floated and swung. So he had taken a big float. One end he had tied a string, and on top of that string he tied the bell. And bell goes inside the sea, sea water. Other end of that float, he had tied a string and he attached that string to rock, to inch cape rock. So it was called inch cape bell. So that type of mechanism he has used at that time. On a boy, boy means float. On a boy in the storm, it floated and swung. So it floated with that boy. Boy means a float which remained on the surface of sea. So it remained there and swung, and that bell hung to that particular float. So that is the mechanism which he had used in 14th century by Abbot of Aberbrotha. And over the waves, its warning rung. As wave, as big waves hit that float, automatically that. Bell, which is inside water, had thrown outside, and it started ringing. So it is just like a signal to the sailors who are near about that particular spot. So these things have given here in third stanza. Let's discuss fourth stanza. When the rock was healed by such swell in high tide, no one can understand whether there is inch cap rock or not. When the rock was healed by such swell, so 
water is on on that inch cape rock and no one can guess whether there is inch cape rock the mariner heard the warning bell at that time warning bell signal them that don't come near it is not sure it is inch cape rock keep yourself there as it is and then they knew the perilous rock perilous means dangerous rock and they knew about that dangerous rock as soon as they heard the sound of that inch cape bell and the blessed the abbot of abbotrotha bless bless means bless they start started blazing to abbotrotha because of his kind work so most of the people successfully saved their lives their ships ships there on that spot and in return they started giving blazing to abbot of abbotrotha for his kind work so these things have given in these two standards let me explain it sorry first let's see what kind of figures of speech there waves warning w sound is there that is why it is alliteration then surge swell ss sound same is there that is alliteration beginning sound alliteration let me explain it in marathi the abbot of aberbrothok had placed that bell on the inch cape rock theitha saral saral robert saudi anni sangitlele ki abbot of aberbrothok ya mathadipati ne ti inch cape bell ta inch cape rock var lavli li lavli hoti on a boy in the storm it floated and swung tani ek motha float ghetlela hota tacha eka bajula dohri ni ती घंटा बांधलेली होती आणि दुसरी बाजूला जी दोरी बांधलेली होती ती त्या इंच केप रॉकला करकचून बांधलेली होती आणि तो फ्लोट तरंगत राहायचा ती बेल पाण्यामध्ये असायची जोरात त्या फ्लोटला धक्का बसल्यावर ती बेल उस उसळायची आणि वाजायची अँड अ बॉय बॉय म्हणजे फ्लोट तरंगती वस्तू इन द स्ट्रॉम इट फ्लोटेड अँड स्वंग फ्लोटेड म्हणजे तरंगणे स्वंग म्हणजे हलणे हवेतल्या हवेत अँड ओव्हर द वेव्स इट्स वॉर्निंग रन जसा त्या फ्लोटला धक्का बसायचा जोराच्या लाटेचा त्या बेलला धक्का बसून ती बेल बाहेर यायची पाण्याच्या आणि जोरात हलायची त्याच्यामुळे ती वाजायची आणि तो सिग्नल असायचा आजूबाजूच्या खलाशांना जे त्या इंचके प्रॉकच्या जवळ येत आहे वेन द रॉक वॉज हिड बाय सर्च स्वेल द मर्गनस हर्ड द वॉर्निंग बेल जेव्हा तो खडक इंचके प्रॉक पूर्ण पाण्याने बुडून जायचा पाण्याने लपायचा तो पाण्यामध्ये म्हणजेच तो पूर्ण पाण्याने हाय टाईडमध्ये भरतीच्या काळामध्ये पूर्ण तो दिसेना असा व्हायचा सर्च स्वेल सर्च स्वेल म्हणजे अचानक वाढलेलं पाणी किंवा वादळ सदृश परिस्थिती निर्माण झाल्यावर तो दगड दिसेना असा व्हायचा द मरिनर हर्ड द वॉर्निंग बेल त्यावेळेस त्या भयानक परिस्थितीमध्ये वॉर्निंग बेल त्यांचा आधार असायची आणि ती वाजायची and they they knew the perilous rock perilous manje bhayanak ani tya bhayanak but ghad khadka badal tanna tithe jani hoyachi ki nahi aplya jaaz apan ithe mages thambavla pahije karan nahi tar tithe bhayanak dagadavar dhadkel apla sudha tyachamadhe mrutyu hoil asha tya bhayanak dagada badal tanna jani hoyachi tya inchke bell mule and bless the abbot of aberbrotha ani je je lok janna janna jani hoyachi tya bell chi tya rock chi ते सगळे चांगल्या कामाबद्दल ह्या अबॉट ऑफ अबॉर्बथला ह्या मठाधिपतीला चांगल्या मनाने आशीर्वाद द्यायचे ह्या सगळ्या गोष्टी इथं सांगण्याचा प्रयत्न सावदी यांनी केलेला आहे आता आपल्याला अलंकार शोधायचे तर पहिल्याकडं दुसऱ्याकडं तिसऱ्या कडव्यामधली ही शेवटची ओळ जी आहे वेव्ह अँड वॉर्निंग डब्ल्यू साऊंड बिगिनिंग साऊंड सुरुवातीचा अध्यक्ष हे सारखं असल्यामुळे ते अलिट्रेशनचं उदाहरण आहे त्याच्यानंतर चौथ्या स्टांगामधलं सर्ज स्वेल एस एस साऊंड त्याच्यामुळे सुद्धा ते अलिट्रेशन स्टांगा द सन इन हेवन वॉज शायनिंग गे सो ऑन दॅट पर्टिक्युलर डे द सन वॉज शायनिंग प्रॉपरली अट्रॅक्टिव्हली ऑल थिंग्स वर जॉयफुल ऑन दॅट डे एव्हरीथिंग वॉज गुड अँड फाईन द सी बर्ड्स स्क्रीम ॲज दे फील्ड राऊंड सी बर्ड्स द बर्ड्स इन सी 
the sea birds screamed screamed means started chirping they started creating sound as they wheeled round and they started flying round and round over the ship and there was joyance in their sound a kind of happiness is observed in their loud sound as they started chirping it is a sound of happiness some kind of happiness is observed there in their sound so these things have given in this fifth stanza now what is given in sixth stanza let's see the boy of the inch cape bell was seen so as the atmosphere is silent no extra movement is there in sea so automatically that float was easily observed by anybody else whoever near on that spot and that boy boy means that float of the inch cape bell was seen it is easily observed a darker speck on the ocean green and how it looked it looked like a tiny spot in green green sea so it is dark tiny spot in green sea and it is easily observed by sailors sir ralph the rover walked his deck so ralph rover is observing that boy that float he went on the upper side deck of his ship and he fixed his eye eyes on the darker speck and he started observing that boy that float from the deck of his ship now what figures of speech are there in fifth stanza as as sound that is why it is alliteration sea birds screamed as as sound that is why it is alliteration now let me explain it in marathi the sun in heaven was shining gay surya ha nehmi pramane talpat hota prakashit hot hota all things were joyful on that day sarvatra vyavasthit pana hota sagaya goshti anandimay hot hotya the sea birds screamed as they wheeled round sea birds samudratle pakshi हे जहाजाच्या वर गोलाकार पद्धतीने फिरत होते आवाज करत होते अँड देअर वॉज जॉयन्स इन देअर साऊंड एक प्रकारचा आनंद त्यांच्या त्या चिवचिवाटमध्ये अनुभवत होते ते किंवा येत होता समोरच्याला जाणवत होता सहावा स्ट्रांझा द बॉय ऑफ द इंचके बेल वॉज सेम वातावरण शांत असल्यामुळे तो फ्लोट तसाच तरंगत होता आणि तो जणू काय हिरव्यागार समुद्रामध्ये एक छोटा टिपका काळा ठिपका असावा अशा पद्धतीने तो नजरेस पडत होता द राल्फ सर राल्फ द रोवर वॉक्ट हिज डे जसा राल्फ रोवरला तो फ्लोट दिसला तरंगणारा पद वस्तू ती दिसली त्याच वेळेस हा राल्फ रोवर त्याच्या जहाजाच्या वरच्या भागाच्या डेकवर गेला अँड ही फिक्स हिज आईज ऑन द डार्क स्पेक आणि त्या काळाशा छोट्या ठिपक्याकडे तो एकटक बघायला लागला आता ह्या पाचव्या आणि सहाव्या कडव्यामध्ये तुम्हाला जर विचारलं की अलंकार ओळखा तर पाचव्या कडव्यामधली जी पहिली ओळ आहे सन आणि शायनिंग स साऊंड रिपीटेड आहे तिथं वापरलेला आहे तो नेम परत परत सन शायनिंग त्याच्यामध्ये ते अलिट्रेशनचं उदाहरण आहे अध्याक्षर शब्दाचं म्हणून ते अलिट्रेशन सी बर्ड्स स्क्रीन स साऊंड अध्यक्षर शब्दाच सारख सारख रिपीट सारख अध्यक्षर रिपीट चेरिंग पॉवर ऑफ स्प्रिंग इट मेड हिम फिसल इट मेड हिम सिंग सो ऐज ही स्टार्टेड ऑब्जर्विंग दैट फ्लोट ही बिकेम व्री हैपी एज इफ इट इज अ स्प्रिंग सीजन इन स्प्रिंग सीजन वी ऑलवेज रिमेन हैपी because everywhere you can see beautiful things beautiful sights so as if it is a spring season he started feeling happy as soon as he started observing and he found that black colored float there near the inch cape rock it made him whistle it made him sing he wanted to whistle he wanted to sing because he was very much happy with specific intention 
he wanted to search that float and as soon as he found that float he became very happy his heart was mirthful to excess mirthful means happiness excess means extra so happiness overflow from his heart so he became very happy but the rover's mirth was wickedness but it was not true happiness he was happy because of something going wrong in his mind it was his cruelty his cruel intention that made him happy then eight stanza his heart was on the inch ke float i was sorry his eye was on the inch ke float so he started observing he fixed his eyes on that float could he my men put out the boat so he ordered his people to take boat because this big ship is not possible to carry towards that inch cape rock and it is not good thing so they they took small boat and they wanted to carry that boat towards that inch cape rock so he ordered my men put out the boat take small boat and row me to the inch cape rock and take me to the inch cape rock and i will play the abbot of abarbrotha play play means to cause pain i want to disturb that abbot i want to destroy his kind work so with this intention he ordered his people to take me to the inch cape bell inch cape rock so these two stanzas are having such meanings so let me explain it in marathi he felt the cheering power of spring ki vasant ritu cha anand tala tithe vatat hota vasant ritu mare sarva srushti anandamay hoon jate tyach padhatichha anand to anubhavat hota it made him whistle it made him sing tala shetti vajva shi vatat hote tala gana gav as vatat hota karan ki to atun khup anandi jhala hota his heart was mirthful to excess कि खूब आनंद होता आनंद जो ओसंडन वहत होता हृदय बट द रोवर्स मर्थ वॉज विकेडनेस पर आनंदाला दुखा भयानकते लकेर होती तो आनंद निर्मल आनंद होता तो आनंद वाइट गोष्टीत आनंद होता वाइट विचार तो आनंद होता आठवा कड़व बीज आई वॉज ऑन द इंच के फ्लोट त्याचे डोळे त्यांनी स्त्रीवरी लिहिले त्या इंच के फ्लोट वर त्या तरंगणाऱ्या इंच के फ्लोट वर कोट ही तो बोलला त्याच्या लोकांना त्यांनी ऑर्डर दिली माय मेन पुट आउट द बोट की तिथे भलं मोठं जहाज होत आणि ते जहाज त्या इंच के प्रॉकच्या तिथे नेणं बरोबर नव्हतं त्याच्यामुळे त्यांनी त्या जहाजामध्ये असलेलं एक छोटी बोट ती काढायची आज्ञा दिली अँड रो मी टू द इंच के प्रॉक आणि मला त्या इंच के खड़कापर्यंत घेन चला अभी तीन ऑर्डर दी का तिथे जाए हो आई विल प्लेग द अबाउट ऑफ एबर ब्रथा कारण मैं एक गोष कराएगी ज्यादा अबाउट ऑफ एबर ब्रथा ये दुख हो जे के पुण्य है तो सग नष्ट हो मैं कराए मैं तुम्हें इंच के पुराकपर्यंत घेन चला नाइन्थ स्टांजा द बोट इज लोअर द बोट्स मैन रो and the inch cape rock they go as soon as he ordered his men to take him to the inch cape rock the boat became ready the boatsmen row him towards that inch cape rock they carried this sir ralph rover towards that inch cape rock from that small boat sir ralph rover bent over from the boat at one point they reached towards that float he hold that float and he hold the rope on the side of bell the bell which is hung on the other side of that float he hold that particular rope and he cut the bell from the inch ke float and he removed he cut down that rope from that float 
and he put down that particular bell inside the water, into the water. Down sank the bell with gurgling sound. As soon as he put down that particular bell into the water, that bell started going down and down. At that time, it started creating gurgling sound, a type of sound. The bubbles rose and burst around. As that particular bale go down and down, bubbles started coming on the surface and they started bursting. Coach Sir Ralph and he became very happy and in happy mood he had spoken few words. What were these words? The next who comes to the rock, when from that moment whoever will come this rock won't bless the abode of Abarbrotha. Whoever will come this spot, no one will bless abode of Abarbrotha because I have cut down, I have removed his good work. No good work, no proper thing is remain here to signal other people, other sellers to tell them that there is a dangerous rock called Inchcape rock. So they will meet accident, they will, die, they will die here on, on this spot. No one will bless Abbot of Abarbrothok for his good work anymore. If you are asked to identify figures of speech, B, B, so beginning sound is repeated there and it is saying that is why it is alliteration. Down sank the bell with gurgling sound. S, S, so it is alliteration. Gurgling sound. Whenever a sound gives us, whenever a word gives us idea about, about sound, at that time it is called onomatopoeia. So onomatopoeia is figures of speech in this poem. Then bubbles and burst. Burst sound is there. That is why it is example of alliteration. Let me explain it in Marathi. The boat is lowered. The boatsmen row. The mothya zahaga tun ti choti boat kardle geli. Ani the boatsman tila valhuaya lagle, tila ghun chala lagle, and the inch ke parak they go. And they kuthe zahal lagle inch ke parak kade. The Ralph rower bent over from the boat. बेंट मजे वाकनी एका स्पॉट लाते आले अंतर त्या इंच केप फ्लोट जो आले अंतर हा राल्फ रोवर वाकला and he cut the bell from the inch केप फ्लोट and त्याचे एका टोकावर जी बेल बान लेली होती घंटा बान लेली थी त्या घंटे चा दो यानी कापला down sank the bell with gurgling sound आनी त्यानी ती बेल जड बेल असले � ती गड़गड़ गड़गड़ आवाज करती बेल खाली जाए लगली। The bubbles rose and burst around. Rose, जैसी ती जड़ बेल खाली जाए लगली, तस तसी बुड़बुड़े वर्षा भागा मरे जमा हाल लगले, त्या समुद्र चा वर्षा भागा। अनि फुटाल लगले। Coach Sir Ralph, अतः हाँ Ralph एकदम आनंदित है लगा, तो बोल ला, क्या बोल ला? The next who comes to the rock. या पुरे कोनी या राक्षस जवल ईल won't bless the abort of abortrotha abortrotha कला त्या मठाधी पतिला कोनी आशीर्वाद देना रहे कारण जा कारण हमें आशीर्वाद दे चें ते चंगल कारण मी नष्ट किए ले मजे दी सिग्नलिंग बेल जिसे हमें सूचना मिला चां जिसे हमें आने का जी प्राण वाचा चें ती बेलस मी कापून टकली अंत अच्छा हमें आप वापस तला मिल नष्ट के लिए थाम बोले। And twelfth stanza, Sir Ralph the Rover sailed away. So as soon as he had completed his cruel act to cut to remove that inch cap bell from that float, he left that spot and he went somewhere for his work, work as a pirate. He scoured the seas. For many a day, he went into the sea and 
for many days. He roamed here and there and he had done his illegal work to loot other ships. So he had done that type of work. And now grown rich with plundered store. Plunder store, whatever wealth he had earned, he had looted. He carried that particular wealth with him. So he became a rich man and as a rich man, he returned back with that stolen things with him. He steers his course for Scotland shore. Steers means direct the sheep. He guided the sheep, he carried the sheep towards Scotland shore. Course, course means route. So he started coming towards the Scotland shore. So these things have given here in stanza 11. Let's see stanza 12. So thick a haze overspread the sky. Haze, haze means fog. So sky is overspread. Sky is covered by fog. They cannot see the sun on high. Even you cannot see sun properly. So that type of haze is there around them. The wind hath blown a gale all day and wind became wild and it started there and uh, disturbing the sheep and other things whatever there in that sea. So the wind became wild and strong rushed, strong, rushed wildly at evening it had died away. So the wind which became wild suddenly, it became silent at evening time. So these things have given here in these two stanzas. If you are asked to identify figures of speech, SS alliteration, same SSS alliteration. Here, see, sun, SS sound is there, that is why alliteration. Let me explain it in Marathi. Sir Raj the rover sailed away. आता ज्या कामासाठी त्यांनी ती छोटी बोट काढली होती इंच के रॉक पर्यंत गेलो होता ते काम त्यांनी पूर्ण केलं होतं ते वाईट काम त्यांनी केलं होतं त्यांनी ती बेल कापून टाकली होती ते इंच के फ्लोट वर पासून आणि तो समुद्रात निघून गेला ही स्कॉर्ड द सीज फॉर मेनी अ डे तो इकडे तिकडे फिरला काही दिवस लूट जमा करण्यासाठी इतर जहाज लुटण्यासाठी and now grown rich with plundered store. Plundered means looti cha maal. Ata to looti cha maal ghyon, sathon, to ek srimante vyakti mohon parat eth hota. He steers his course for Scotland shore. Steers, steers means direct the, di direct the sheep, guide the sheep. So he carried, tani tachas je zahaze, te Scotland cha dishene wale wale. कोर्स कोर्स मीन्स रूट कि जहाज तला दिशा दी स्टेस मे दिशा देने कोर्स मे रूट कड़े ने स्कॉटलैंड शोर कड़े स्कॉटलैंड कि जहाज वाल तो लगला सो थीक हेज ओवर स्प्रेड द स्काय आकाशा मधे दाट अस धुक जमा जाए होज मे धुक ओवर स्प्रेड कवर आकाशाला पूर्ण कवर के होते धुक ने they cannot see the sun on high. कि इतका दाट ते धुक होतं की त्यांना आकाशातला सूर्य सुद्धा दिसत नव्हता द विंड हॅड ब्लोन अ गेल ऑल डे गेल म्हणजे भयानक वाऱ्याने भयानक रूप धारण केलं होतं जोराचा वारा वादळ स्वरूप वारा वाहायला लागलेला होता ॲट इव्हनिंग इट हॅड डायट अवे परंतु संध्याकाळी त्या वाऱ्याची जी तीव्रता आहे ती कमी झालेली होती तर असा अर्थ तुम्हाला ह्या कवितेमध्ये दिसेल ह्या कडव्यांमध्ये दिसेल आता अलंकार शोधायचं झालं तर स्कोर्ड अँड सीज एस एस साऊंड त्याच्यामुळे ते अलिट्रेशनचं उदाहरण आहे स्टीयर्स स्कॉटलँड शोर स साऊंड आहे त्याच्यामुळे ते सुद्धा अलिट्रेशनचं उदाहरण आहे सी सन स साऊंड आहे एस एस साऊंड आहे त्याच्यामुळे अलिट्रेशनचं उदाहरण स्टांजा ऑन द टेक द रोवर टेक सी स्टँड so dark it is they see no land as they return back and they are very near to the inch cape rock on the deck the rover takes his stand 
rover went and started observing from the deck of that is upper side of that ship he started observing around so dark it is they see no light it was a dark it was night time and nothing can be seen by them quoth sir ralph it will be brighter soon and he expressed his view that don't worry he assured his people don't worry it will be light soon light will come very soon for there is the dawn of a rising moon because it is a time that phases of moon are going to be increased so increasing moon so sufficient light will be there if uh, that moon come in sky so he assured his people don't worry moon will come soon and it will be light we can see properly look at 14 sanja canst hear said one the breakers roar so one of the crew member had spoken he expresses that we can't see can't hear anything else what they couldn't hear anything else the breakers is roar ki the waves which return back from shore we cannot hear the sound of that breaking waves so cast here the breakers is roar for me think we should be near the shore me think means i think or it seems to be that we are near the shore i am not assured that we are near the shore but i think that we are near the shore now where we are i cannot tell but i am not 100% sure about where about the spot where we are now but i wish i could hear the inch cape bell but it was my wish that we should hear the sound of inch cape bell it would be possible it to guess that where we are so in this way crew member expresses his sorrow here in this line let me explain it in marathi on the deck the rover takes its stand rover went upside on the deck of that ship so dark it is they see no land ata varti gelya antar tya deck cha deck var खूब अंधार पड़े होता काल पड़े होता तेना आजूबाजू से कहीं दिसत नौत कोच सर राल्फ इट विल बी ब्राइटर सून आता हा राल्फ रोवर तोकान संगत है कि घाबरू ना का ही वेर उजेड़ पड़े फॉर देर इज द डाउन ऑफ अ राइजिंग मून कारण चंद्रा कला चा, हा कला मोटा मोटा होने का काल है आता मोटा मोठी कलाचा हा चंद्र ज्यावेळेस उगवेल आकाशात त्यावेळेस पुरेसा प्रकाश पडेल आणि आपल्याला आजूबाजूच दिसायला लागेल असं त्याच्या लोकांना आश्वस्त करतोय कास्ट हिअर सेड वन द ब्रेकर्स इस रोअर आता इथं एक क्र्यू मेंबर बोलतोय की काहीच ऐकू येत नाही समुद्राला समुद्राच्या कडेला समुद्र किनाऱ्याला आदळून लाटा परत येतानाचा त्यांचा आवाज सुद्धा ऐकू येत नाही फॉर मी थिंक we should be near the shore me think means i think ki mala asa vatay ki apan samudra cha jo samudra cha kadela ahot samudra cha kinara cha kadela ahot now where we are i cannot tell pan kuthe nemka ahot he mala kai sangta yet nahi but i wish i could hear the inch cape bell ki maji ichcha hai ki inke inch cape bell aplyala ayku yayla havi hoti तिचा आवाज आला असता तर आपल्याला कळलं असतं की आपण नेमकं कुठे आहोत फिफ्टीन स्टांजा दे हिअर नो साऊंड द स्वेल इज स्ट्रॉंग दो द विंड हॅड फॉलन दे ड्रिफ्ट अलॉंग दे हिअर नो साऊंड सो दे कुडंट सी हिअर एनिथिंग एल्स द स्वेल इज स्ट्रॉंग सी बिकेम व्हेरी स्ट्रॉंग अँड रश मुवमेंट स्टार्टेड गोईंग ऑन इन दॅट सी दो द विंड हॅड फॉलन दे ड्रिफ्ट अलॉंग आफ्टर सम टाइम विंड हॅड फॉलन अँड दे मूव्ह अलॉंग देअर शिप स्टार्टेड मुव्हिंग अहेड टील द व्हेसल स्ट्राईक विथ अ शिवरिंग शॉप देअर व्हेसल स्लायडेड 
slowly slowly and at one moment it struck to something else strike strike means hit with a shivering shock they can't control that particular vessel it was a shivering shock they shake silently uncontrolled they hit that particular thing what was that thing oh christ it is the inch caper rock so their ship their vessel struck to inch caper rock oh christ it is inch caper rock and they come to know that it is nothing but inch caper rock they have had their accident there sir ralph the rover tore his head here he crushed himself in his despair sir ralph the rover tore his hair so within a second he became nervous because he come to know he recalled his earlier mistake and that is why such he he is facing such type of accident he crushed himself in his despair he became very disturbed and in that disturbed mood he started cursing himself and about his past action to his past action the waves rush in every side so waves started rushing there from every side of that ship to take that ship inside the water the ship is sinking beneath the tide and the ship started sinking going down and down but even in his dying fear one dreadful sound could the rover hear so even in his dying fear he was very frightened at that time and in that mood in that condition one dreadful sound could the rover hear and he can hear a sound that that is considered as a dangerous one so dangerous sound of bell he could hear at that moment a sound as if with the inch cape bell and what kind of sound he he was able to hear that is the sound of inch cape bell the devil blow below was ringing his nail so nail nail means a bell which is rung at the time of funeral ceremony so the devil below was singing his nail so as if satan is ringing a funeral bell inside the sea and that kind of sound he can hear there at that moment so it is the things which he had done earlier so whatever good things you do you will get good things in your life in future but if you do bad things destiny do the same things to you also so as you sow as you reap this is the message given through this particular poem by robert saudi now if you are asked to identify figures of speech s s s absolutely it is alliteration strikes shivering shock alliteration oh christ it is inch caper rock it is apostrophe what is apostrophe in apostrophe inanimate object or ideas are directly addressed christ christ is not in front of him but though christ is addressed that is why it is apostrophe so these are a few figures of speech in this in this stanzas let me explain it in marathi they hear no sound the swell is strong konta hi awaz tanna aikuyet navta ani samudra ha dam usallela hota दो द विंड हैड फॉलन दे ड्रिफ्ट अलॉन्ग का अंतर वारा हा कमी शांत परंतु शीप हलूह पुढ़ पुढ़ जाए लगल मू सो स्लोली ड्रिफ्ट मे हलूहू पुढ़ जाने टील द वेसल स्ट्राइक विथ शिवरिंग शॉक कि अनकंट्रोल शिवरिंग अनकंट्रोल शेक साइलेंटली वेसल वेसल शीप शीप स्ट्राइक जहाज कशाला तरी आद शॉक की जोरात त्यांना धक्का बसला ओ क्राइस्ट इट इज इंच केप रॉक आणि त्यांच्या तोंडातून लगेच शब्द आले की अरे देवा हा ते इंच केप रॉक आहे सर राल्फ द रोवर टोअर हिज हेअर आता राल्फ रोवर तो पायरेट तो एकदम डिस्टर्ब झाला ही क्रस्ट हिमसेल्फ इन हिज डिस्पेअर 
आणि त्याच्या औद्योगिक मनस्थितीमध्ये तो स्वतःला कोसू लागला स्वतःला दोष द्यायला लागला कारण त्याच्यामुळेच ती गोष्ट घडली होती जर त्याने इंचके बेल काढली नसती तर आता तो वाचला असता द वेव रश इन एव्हरी साईड जहाजाला भगदाड पडल्यामुळे पाणी हळूहळू सगळ्या बाजूने जमा व्हायला लागला आणि त्या जहाजाला खाली खेचायला लागलं द शिप इज सिंकिंग बिनिथ द टाईड आणि ते जहाज बुडायला लागलं सिंकिंग म्हणजे बुडणे बिनिथ द टाईड पाण्यामध्ये बट इव्हन इन इज डाईंग फिअर की त्या भयानक अवस्थेमध्ये त्याचं जहाज बुडत असताना वन ड्रेडफुल साऊंड कूड द रोवर हिअर की त्या रोवरला त्या पायरेटला एक भयानक आवाज ऐकू येत होता अ साऊंड ॲज इफ विथ द इंचकेप बेल जणू काही तो इंचकेप बेल सारखा आहे सारखा आवाज होता द डेविल बिलो वॉज रिंगिंग हिज नेल की एखादा मनुष्य वारल्यानंतर त्याच्या सेरेमनीला मृत्यूच्या समयी जी बेल वाजवली जाते इट इज कॉल्ड नेल फ्युनरल बेल की जणू काही सैतान फ्युनरल बेल वाजवतो एक काय माझ्या मृत्यूसाठी असं वाटायला लागलं डेविल डेविल म्हणजे सैतान आणि ही कविता इथं संपते जसं पेराल तसं उगवाल हा मॅसेज ही कविता देते आता ही कविता कोणत्या राईम स्कीममध्ये लिहिली गेली आहे तर ए ए बी बी स्ट्रॉंग अलॉंग शॉक रॉक हेअर डिस्पेअर साईड टाईट तर ह्या राईम स्कीममध्ये ही कविता लिहिली गेली आहे धन्यवाद